934. February took some unexpected uh, turns for Sonny Sultani. He launched his new business. His father needed surgery, his grandmother died, and on a crowded flight back from Dallas, is where Sultani suspects he contracted COVID-19. Almost 14 days after returning home, he started experiencing shortness of breath and fatigue. He isolated himself from his wife and two children and spent six weeks recovering. Sonny joins us live to share more on his recovery story. Sonny, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, happy to be here. Wow, oh, congratulations on your recovery. I don't think many people know just how bad this can get. So maybe you can walk us through to when it got really bad? Yeah, it's, uh, so I kind of put it into three parts. The uh, first two weeks, which started in, uh, March 9th, uh, started off with shortness of breath and really a lot of fatigue. And so you can see me napping and I don't really nap. The, uh, uh, it it uh, transpired into a cough a few days later. So. Uh, Obviously, I had to go into the immediate care to kind of have the cough checked out. You know, the, everything came up negative. The cough started to get worse. And so the week after, I went back into the immediate care, and they said I had viral bronchitis. And, you know, three weeks into this, it took a, it took a turn for the worse. I uh, uh, had all the symptoms that they talk about on TV. I had the, uh, you know, I couldn't uh, smell. I, and, you know, my eyeballs started to hurt. My, uh, uh, I had a headache. I, you know, I had a fever, which you know, lasted seven straight days, and then it started to break um, on and off. And the cough and the shortness of breath just got really bad. But did yeah. they give or, you, I'm yeah. sorry, did they give you that COVID test when you were in immediate care? The first two times, that first week and the second week, no. They uh, uh, essentially asked me if I had flown internationally, which I hadn't. Um, and so they didn't give it to me then. And then the second week, uh, when I went back in for the, for the uh, call, it, uh, they said, did you fly to Italy or a few other places they included? And then they asked me if I had known anybody who had COVID, and I said no. Um, but by the third week, they were testing just about anybody with symptoms. So you could see the progress that they were making, too. So at what point, if at all, did you have to go into the hospital? And, and if so, how long were you hospitalized and what was that experience like? So I was never hospitalized. I, I went into the immediate care three times. I got tested and uh, it, after my initial symptom on the fourth week, they finally gave me a diagnosis of you have COVID. But at that point, we kind of already knew, right? I mean, it, it was pretty yeah. obvious that it wasn't the flu. Um, it was way worse than anything I'd ever had. And there were points throughout this that, you know, we thought I should go into the hospital, but I was kind of too afraid to go in. Mm. That's, you know, that seems like a problem in and of itself, right? Because the, you, yeah. you, in your mind, you're like, I don't want to catch anything and they can't give me anything anyway. Was that your thinking? Yeah, and you know, the diagnosis came way after the worst point. So, you know, by then, um, uh, you know, also, I didn't want to take a bed for someone who might need a ventilator. I didn't think I needed a ventilator at that point, but, you know, my chest was really tight. I had trouble breathing. You know, taking a deep breath was uh, very difficult. So, uh, very, very different experience than uh, anything I've had before. Real quick, Sonny, rest of the family, are they okay? They are. They are. My, uh, my wife's a true hero in all of this. Uh, she made sure that... Uh, uh, I was quarantined, uh, uh, Lysol, everything, wow. you know, uh, dealing with the virtual classes and work. Uh, uh, she did it all. So. Well, and Sonny, what do people? What do you tell people when they think this is? It's just the flu, or it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's tough to convince anybody uh, uh, otherwise, really, because uh, they have that in their head already. I, I'm not sure where it comes from, but. Uh, I, I, I can assure you it is not like the flu. It's uh, it's definitely a, a different experience. It is way worse than anything I had ever experienced. And uh, we've all kind of gone through flu-like symptoms or yeah. cold-like symptoms. And this is this is not. It's uh, 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 far more severe. Glad wow. you're better, Sonny. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. you can check out Sonny's yeah. company, 120over80.com. And thank you very much, Sonny. Thanks, Sonny. Right. Thank you. Hey, Mike.